seeing the kids uh, go from being crouched down to their chest up, I mean, that's, that's the best feeling I have. Retired astronaut and making good on his promise to students in the Middleton School District. Welcome to the News at Six. It's been nearly five months since staff members in the Middleton School District were photographed in what some say were racially insensitive costumes, mocking Hispanic culture and the border wall during what they called a team building exercise. Those pictures went viral and sparked outrage around the country. In the days following, NASA astronaut Jose Hernandez offered to visit the school and tell his own story of achieving the American dream. Hernandez flew into Idaho today. Our Gretchen Parsons got to meet with him, sit down, chat with him about all of this, and she joins us now with more. Gretchen? Well, Hernandez, he comes from a working migrant family and overcame a lot of obstacles to make it to NASA. He spoke with the Idaho Hispanic Chamber of Commerce today and will be in Middleton tomorrow telling students his story, and he hopes that they take away, if he can do it, so can they. The whole purpose of uh, my visit here, I think, Retired astronaut Jose Hernandez is visiting the Middleton School District on Tuesday to show students they too can achieve the American dream. It's going to be a message of empowerment. It's going to be a message of, you know, letting them see a, uh, someone who perhaps looks like them, maybe talks like them, and has perhaps a similar story that they may have. His visit comes after what some call racially insensitive photos of Middleton staff members after they went viral last fall. The photos show staff members dressed as a border wall and Mexican stereotypes. Days after, Hernandez tweeted that he wanted to come to the district and inspire students. Hernandez is from a migrant farm working family that would move to where the work was. You know, I would have three kindergarten teachers in one school year, three sets of friends. And uh, for that reason, I think that's why, I, even though I was born here in the United States, I didn't learn the English language fluently until I was about 10, 11 years old because we moved around so much. A teacher convinced his parents that they needed to settle in one place in order for the children to get a proper education. That place was Central California. And at the age of 10, Hernandez knew he wanted to be an astronaut. I was old enough at that time to uh, remember and see the very last Apollo mission, Apollo 17, 1972. It wouldn't be an easy road. NASA rejected me not once, not twice, but 11 times. It wasn't until the 12th time that I finally got selected. But once Hernandez eventually made it to space, looking out the spaceship window was an experience that changed his entire perspective on life. And you can see Canada, the U.S., and Mexico. But what struck me in awe was the fact that you couldn't see where Canada ended and the U.S. began, where the U.S. ended and Mexico began. And that's when it struck me. I said, wow, borders are human-made concepts designed to separate us. And how sad, because from my perspective, looking down there, we're just one. It's this perspective he wants to share with Students Tuesday and inspire them, no matter where they came from, they too can achieve anything with hard work. I think my focus is on the kids, is, uh, is showing them role models uh, and uh, empowering them to believe they can be anything they want, that the sky is not the limit, the stars are, and I'm living proof of that. And like you heard, Hernandez is going to Middleton tomorrow, but it's certainly not the first time he spoke to children, especially ones that have had to overcome a lot of obstacles like he has. He says it's his form of giving back. It's going to be great to see the kids yeah. and hear what he has to say after 13 days of being in outer space. This is a guy who reached for the stars and got there. Yeah. Gretchen, thanks.